on your side. For the first time, prosecutors are revealing the strange, disturbing events that led up to the murder of a University of Mary Washington student. Grace Mann's body was found in April inside the Fredericksburg home she shared with two roommates. Today, the man accused in her murder faced a judge. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg is live in Fredericksburg with the new revelations. Jeff? Well, Kimberly, some emotional and intense words from those two roommates about what they encountered inside this home in Fredericksburg on the day that McLean native Grace Mann was found murdered and what was said to them by Stephen Breel, the accused killer. But still, what remains unknown is a clear motive. Grace Mann's family had nothing to say after court today, and neither did Stephen Breel's parents. But Breel's attorney says they love and support their son. They're as confused as anyone else about how a person with his background could have done such a thing or could be involved in it. Today we heard testimony from the two roommates of Breel, 30, and Grace Mann, 20, all of whom live together in this Fredericksburg home. On Friday, April 17th, Catherine Irwin says she received a text from Breel just before 3 p.m., I went into Holly's room and made a mess, a mess. Irwin and Holly Alexinus soon returned to the house, found things in disarray, and called for Mann, their classmate at the University of Mary Washington. The roommates say Briel exited Alexinus's room, quickly shut the door, and soaking in sweat, his eyes darting back and forth, said, what would you do if Grace didn't come back, if she wasn't there anymore? Irwin says Briel then said, we had a disagreement, I slapped her, she bit me, and I strangled her. The two women walked inside the room and found man on the ground, her hands bound, a plastic bag over her head, plastic bags stuffed in her mouth and covered by a purple blanket. Attorney Mark Gardner suggested questions do remain about Stephen Breel's mental health. We're going to find out more about that. That's part of our investigation and potentially part of our defense. Uh, the attorney said that Breel and Mann were housemates, nothing more. Those two roommates testifying much the same thing today on the stand, saying they also knew of no problems between the two. But the defense attorney talking about text messages between Breel and Mann in the days leading up to the murder and about possible recorded conversations between Breel and Grace Mann. We expect to hear a whole lot more about those details coming up at trial. But first, the case goes to the grand jury in late July. Live in Fredericksburg, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News.